Hi, I'm Dick Story, and while we may not be at Turf Valley this year, I am excited to welcome you to our annual Howard County Good Scout Award presentation. This year, we recognize the young men and women of Howard County, or what is known in the Boy Scout world as the National Bike District of the Baltimore Area Council. We honor these Scouts and Eagle Scouts who in the face of a pandemic and stay-at-home orders have ensured that scouting continues, as does its impact on our community. This event also raises funds to support the scouting programs that reach nearly 4,000 young people in our county alone. On behalf of the National Pike District of the Baltimore Area Council, Boy Scouts of America, we're pleased that you're watching today's presentation. And we hope you've brought your own breakfast. We will now have the presentation of our nation's colors by Troop 944, chartered by Bethany United Methodist Church. They will also lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, Scout Oath, and Scout Laws after the colors are posted. Hello, and welcome to the Good Scout event. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Please join me in the Scout Oath. Scout sign. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. Two. Please join me in the Scout Law. Scout sign. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Two. Thank you for supporting Scouting through the Good Scout event. Thanks to your contributions, hundreds of youth are benefiting from the Scouting program. Hi, I'm Ken Miller, the Scout Executive for the Baltimore Area Council. And I'm pleased to be joining you today for the Howard County Good Scout event. This event is truly important to the scouting community in Howard County and I'd love to tell you a little bit about the scouting program in the greater Baltimore area. We serve over 25,000 youth through the support of over 10,000 dedicated volunteer leaders. Scouting is one of the largest youth serving agencies in the area and it is important in the lives of our youth and our communities. I'd just like to close with a quote that I love to share. The greatest gift that a person can give is their time and resources to future generations whose words of thanks may not be heard. The work you are doing today is truly important and the financial commitment you're making will help make our communities a better place. So, Thank you. Particularly during COVID, um, there's challenges with recruiting, trying to like meet up, um, show girls what our truth is about. And I feel like our youth leadership has really risen to that challenge. They're showing responsibility in considering everyone's safety, the safety of our church that we meet at, the safety of the youth, uh, their parents and families, and I'm very proud uh, of all of them. Um, it was crazy. Back in March, I had just gotten, uh, just finished my life order review and was just starting on the process when I got sent home from school. Um, and was just trying to figure out everything from online learning to figuring out how to get my Eagle Project approved and communicating with the beneficiary. Um, but it ended up going a lot more smoothly than I expected. I was able to spend more time um, working on my Eagle requirements since I was at home and had the benefit of being able to do more troop activities. Um, I got the last nights of my camping merit badge camping in my backyard with my dad who is our scoutmaster. I also was able to complete my project work days with pretty much no hitches. Everyone wore a mask and I was able to keep everyone socially distanced by planning out a map of the work site and since it was pretty spread out we just had small groups working in each location, usually members of the same family. And it went pretty smoothly. Philmont is a classic scouting experience. Um, it's a ranch in New Mexico. Um, which is open for backpacking to scouts. Most units go on a 12-day trek there. You have a guide for three days and then you're alone in the backcountry with your unit for the rest of the trek. So I went with my venturing crew. Venturing is a co-ed branch of scouting that's aimed at high school age kids. Um, so we did one of the longer treks there 
We were able to go in between the fires which were in Philmont in 2018 and obviously the pandemic so I count as incredibly lucky in that respect. Um, it's just an amazing experience. We were able to climb Mount Baldy which is the highest mountain on the ranch and also had the opportunity to climb Little Castilla which is the highest peak available on a Philmont trek. Just spending days alone with your friends um, in the middle of nowhere, it's, it's an amazing experience. I don't know how else to describe it and I'm super excited for an opportunity to do it again in the future. In my opinion, the biggest benefit of scouting is that it puts different groups of people together in ways that nothing else really does. You have kids who normally wouldn't meet each other because they're different ages or they go to different schools or play different sports um, and you're having them work together to plan like camp outs, plan amazing like week long trips. It's true like there's nothing else like it. Um, and then you get into the community outreach. Uh, almost every unit does multiple community service trips and getting kids involved in their communities um, and involved with leadership and mentoring, uh, there's really nothing else like scouting for that. Hi, Howard County, Scout Supporters for 2020. My name's Steve Breeden. I had the honor of being the 2019 Good Scout for Howard County. I had some pretty big shoes to fill as Cole Snorf was the 2018 Good Scout. I may not have filled the shoes very well, but at least I finally filled the hat. If you were there last year, you'll know what that means. Anyway, my job this year is to thank some of our supporters. We want to start off by the Eagle Scout supporters. They include Security Development, my partners, thank you, Parkins Builders Inc., Merit Management Group, Howard Hughes Corporation, Highland Turf Inc., Edwards Performance Solutions, the Traffic Group Inc., and Easter Day and Wilson Water Services, LLC. In addition, we want to thank our Life Scout sponsors. They include Turf Valley, Mannequin LLC, and Mannequin Construction. We know this has been a tough year for fundraising. We very much appreciate everything you've done for us, and hopefully next year we'll be back inside. Hello, my name is Connor Stewart, and I am with Troop 540 in Laurel, Maryland and I recently earned my Eagle Scout rank on August 27th, 2020. Overall, it was very rewarding because although I did have to delay my project by a few months um, because I planned to do it in April actually, um, I was still able to get it done and even with these restrictions, I was able to design designated workspaces for the people and we also followed the CDC guidelines and overall it turned out very well. The importance of leadership in our troop is that it focuses on being scout-led and it also helps younger scouts to believe in what they can achieve and aspire to be in the future. True 540 has continued with uh, these COVID-19 restrictions by hosting meetings via Zoom and we have also continued doing campouts for these past three months. Uh, we have also went to an orienteering day. While well, focusing on my experience at the Summit Bechtel, it was a very fun experience and I really want to go again someday and I would also like to encourage other scouts to go there. While at the Summit Bechtel, uh, I was able to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and try new things such as BMX biking and skateboarding. I think that it is very important to the youth of Howard County, especially because with the multiple packs and troops that we have, uh, I personally have been in Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts since 2011 and I had a very fun time during both of those times and most of my friends now have transferred over from Cub Scouts to Boy Scouts with me and so I think that it can help um, bring bonds closer together and going throughout your scouting journey. Hi, I'm Jason Van Kirk. I'm the Vice Chair for Finance for the National Pike District. I would like to thank you all for joining us at this year's Good Scout event. I'd specifically like to thank the Star Scout sponsors this year. Phillips Realty Capital, Morgan Stanley, Royal Farms, 
J.W. and Sons, Honus Family Foundation, Robin Properties, Brasher Design, The Chamberlain Family, Whiteford Taylor and Preston, Banta Campbell Architects, Katz Abosh, Shulman Rogers, Wells and Associates, Kaizen Approach, Bowler Engineering, Elm Street Development, Ofit Kerman, and Morris and Ritchie Associates. Your contributions are integral to us providing scouting in the Nat National Pike District. Thank you. I look forward to seeing all of you at an in-person event next year. Thank you. Welcome. My name is Del Carfanta, and I want to thank you for joining our virtual presentation of the Good Scout Breakfast that we normally have held every year at Turf Valley, but this time, with the same, but now we have to do a virtual presentation from Turf Valley. So here we are with what's going on with the scouting. The scouting, I want to tell you about what the scouts have done during COVID, and I'll tell you some of the numbers are quite spectacular. For example, I've written some numbers down that will probably be very impressive. Uh, for example, the food bank. The scouts have collected over 13,000 pounds of food to contribute to the food bank during the COVID period. They've also held a 5K virtual run that contributed over 1,000 meals to the food, food bank. They earned over 1,500 merit badges while they're in, during the COVID uh, crisis that we're in. Uh, the service hours that they've contributed to the community are over 4,000 service hours. In addition to that, we're also finding that some of the young women are stepping up and earning or getting ready to earn their Eagle badges in the Scout program. Also, their Scouts are doing so many things at home that are so impressive while they're at home. They're educating their families on so many things like the safety of safety, safety and cooking, the emergency first aid, all the things that they're doing with their families at home. That one of the things I found very interesting was that uh, they came up with an idea that they would develop a, a item that the family would like to purchase. So the scout would sit down and put down a budget, a 13-week budget, where the persons in the or the people in the family would come up with ways to earn the money and save the money to purchase that item over time. This is all the things the scouts are contributing to our community, and they need to continue to do that. To continue to do that, they're going to need your support, and that's your, your financial support. It costs $185 to put a scout into the scout program, and we're asking that you consider that uh, that much of a donation. If for $185 doesn't work for you, please consider any amount that you can contribute. Please do that. I don't think you'll regret it. The young people of America need our investment. This is a tax-deductible investment, and the young people really do need the motivational spirit that you're behind them. Please do that now during COVID. Thank you. Traditionally, we will be gathering together at Turf Valley to celebrate scouting and to raise funds for this important community program. While the COVID-19 pandemic is preventing us from celebrating our exceptional, impressive scouts in person, it cannot diminish our admiration for their achievements and contributions to our community. For our young people, scouting develops their self-knowledge and encourages them to explore and discover. It helps them to develop physically, intellectually, socially, and spiritually. Scouting builds confidence, self-esteem, and teaches our young people how to make good choices. As a former scout, I know it helps to shape values for adulthood, the importance of offering a hand up, and being responsible stewards who give back more to our community than they take from it. To all of our scouts, I applaud your commitment to personal growth. You are our future and in you I see outstanding leaders for tomorrow and beyond. I also want to thank those of you who support our scouts with your time, your talents, and most importantly, your checkbooks. During these challenging times, let me proclaim all of you our good scouts for 2020. Hello, I'm Dan Lentz and I serve as the volunteer district chair of the National Pike District. I want to open by extending a warm thank you on behalf of the National Pike District for all of the contributions you make, financial and otherwise, to scouting in Howard County and beyond. 
Your support and ongoing assistance are always vital to our ability to provide a vibrant scouting program that annually supports growth and retention of our youth participants and adult volunteers. That support is always valued, but never more so than in the midst of this global pandemic that presents unique and significant challenges in keeping youth and leaders engaged. But in National Pike, scouting continues. Frankly, it's been an amazing and heartwarming experience to see the initiative, creativity, innovation, persistence, and most importantly, enthusiasm of our scouters in trying to make sure that our youth have a great scouting program to participate in. Even more impressive is the commitment of our youth leaders and scouts to continue with the business and fun of scouting. We've seen scouting unit meetings continue, recognition events held, and virtual and live campouts taking place. Virtual merit badges are being earned and rank advancement is taking place. Eagle Scout boards of review continue and we're now rapidly approaching our inaugural class of female scouts attaining that lofty rank. We've had flag retirement ceremonies and recruiting events that reinforce citizenship and expand the broad tent of our scouting community. And all of this is taking place because of the support that you and others provide to the National Pike District. There's more work to be done and more challenges will face us in the winter months. I know that our adult leaders, our district committee, commissioners, and scouting professionals are fully engaged in helping our units to find and implement ways to keep scouting the top youth program for our children in the community. As I reflect on the unique circumstances in which we find ourselves, I find that the core tenets of scouting originally established by Lord Baden-Powell in 1908 remain relevant. They remain principles that are vital to our ability as a society to effectively deal with adversity and change. Many of you know that the aims of scouting include character development, citizenship, leadership development, and personal fitness. Can we doubt that our scouts will see, and whether they consciously recognize it or not, and they will learn from what they experience and accomplish during these unique times? Things about persistence in the face of adversity, things about leadership and creativity and the importance of community. From what I've seen in our district, I'm confident in saying that fulfilling the aims of scouting through the scouting program has helped our youth through these challenges, and these experiences will undoubtedly make an impression on our scouts that may well benefit them throughout their lifetimes. Despite the challenges of recruiting and retention in a virtual scouting world, there are over 2,900 scouts in the National Pike District. This includes our Cub Scout, Scouts BSA, Venturing, Sea Scouts, and Career-Based Exploring programs. Of these scouts, 261 are female participants in our Cub Scouting program or members of Scouts BSA Girl Troops, Venturing Crews, or Sea Scout ships. Howard County has 66 new Eagle Scouts so far in 2020, and this number will keep growing through the end of December. Their Eagle Scout projects total over 8,800 hours of community service. Giving back to the communities in which we live is a core value of scouting, and this contribution by our scouts in these times is incredible. During our retooled and reinvented Scouting for Food effort, scouts canvassed Howard County collecting nearly 13,000 pounds of food for our local food pantries. Hopefully you can appreciate that through these and other efforts, our scouting program continues to excel in meeting the wants and needs of our young people while preparing them to be the leaders of tomorrow. However, none of what we are able to accomplish in scouting would be possible without our caring, dedicated, and hardworking volunteers. The National Pike District is proud to have over 1,250 registered adults working hard at keeping scouting robust. If you see our scouts in action around the county, please know that your support today helped to make that possible. In closing, I'd like to thank you all again for participating in our Good Scout event and for your contributions in time of money and money to the scouting in Howard County. Thank you very much. Hello, I'm Pete Mangione. I'm the general manager here at Turf Valley Resort. Since 1991, we've been fortunate to host the annual Good Scout Awards Breakfast. And we're sorry we won't be able to host it this year, but we hope that you, like us, will continue to support scouts and join us next year when we're back here in person on October 29th, 2021. Thank you for your support of Scouts. Hello, uh, my name is Prashant Pazani and I am a scout who earned their eagle during this COVID-19 pandemic. 
Uh, I know my uh, troop has been going strong. They've been meeting virtually and uh, sometimes uh, outside in person with uh, masks on. Uh, the importance of youth leadership, well, uh, leadership is a vital skill that all scouts will use throughout the entirety of their adulthood. So the, it's very important and uh, practical to start learning uh, leadership skills at a very young age uh, because they will use it for the rest of their adulthood. Uh, earning my Eagle Scout during the pandemic, uh, it has definitely been uh, strange to say the least. Uh, my board of re review was on Zoom, as usually your board, board of review is in person, so you know when to expect when you're going to get your uh, uh, Eagle Award. So I had to wait like a couple months and yeah. Looking back on my camping experience, I do uh, recall fondly my memories of summer camp and just uh, camping in general. In particular, I remember a biking trip that we used to go out in uh, November. We would bike 20 miles in like freezing cold or very cold temperatures uh, from what I recall. And then we would come back and we would be greeted by a nice warm Thanksgiving meal. And I just love that we had to work so hard uh, biking and we had to earn our, uh, like our food basically, like dinner. So uh, that camp out has really uh, stuck with me. Scouting is important to Howard County youth uh, because in Boy Scouts, you learn essential skills that you will use in your life, such as leadership, like we stated before, and also the passion for learning. Um, in the entirety of your life, if you have the passion for learning, you will go far.